Welcome to Cyber Chaos Crew TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your 64 bit VST plugins and instruments in a 32 bit VST host. Once you have installed the JBridger application, run it as an administrator. Select I'll be using a 32-bit host. On the next step, uncheck the Create Bridging Files for 32-bit Plugins option. And click the Create Bridging Files inside the directory I'll specify button. Next, you will have to select the folder containing your 64-bit VST plugins. Now you need to select the folder containing your 32-bit VST plugins. This is where the 64-bit plugins are going to be bridged to. Click OK and the JBridger tool will start working. Wait for all the 64-bit plugins to be bridged and then click yes if it asks you to terminate processes. You can now confirm that all the files have been bridged for using in your 32-bit VST host. Click OK to exit the application. You can now load your 32-bit VST host. After loading your 32-bit VST host, you can go to the plugins menu and confirm that your 64-bit plugins have been successfully bridged for usage in a 32-bit VST host.
load a 64-bit plugin and at the bottom of its window you will see a JBridge logo, taskbar and a settings button. You can click it to customize the JBridge application settings. Navigate to the VST Instruments window and you will also confirm that your 64-bit VST Instruments have been bridged into your 32-bit VST host. You can now use your system's 64-bit memory bandwidth with your 64-bit VSD plugins and instruments in a 32-bit VSD host. And that's it for the 64-bit VST plugins and instruments bridging video. I hope you find it useful. If you'd like to thank me, you can subscribe to the channel. Have fun, I'll see you on the next one.